always guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that bell to be notified for future videos. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Fish Hunt. I am Cole, and um, today we got a uh, special unboxing from our good friend, Mike. It's Mods and Customs. So a little while ago, I was talking to Mike and I was telling him about how I am in the market for a 68 charger. And since everyone knows, Mike is the proud owner as of right now of a hobby town. And I thought, oh, maybe he has a 68 sitting around. And unfortunately, unfortunately enough, he did. So that was pretty cool. And I told him, hey, dude, uh, I would love the car. Uh, I'll pay for it. I'll do whatever. And that was the end of that conversation, really. So about, it was about four days ago, um, he texted me over Instagram, like we always communicate. And he's like, hey, Cole, look out for a package. And he sent me a picture of the uh, tracking receipt. I was like, okay, cool. So the other day, when I came home, the package is on the table. And I was like, oh, cool. Looks like Mike's... Uh, boxes here finally so when i went downstairs i was carrying it and it was kind of heavy and i was like why why is this heavy i only asked for one car right and um so i went downstairs and i won't lie mike and others i i opened the box because i was very curious and when i opened it i was very very shocked on what i found so the first thing that I opened up to was the sticker, obviously, that I put away. And then this note that says, Cole, just a quick note. You mentioned you were looking for a charger casting. I'm sure you'll find a good home slash use slash for these. Hope you have a great summer. Thank you, Mike. I hope you have a great summer too, dude. Um, you know, we'll, we'll keep in contact, man. It's We're good buddies. I apologize. And I never know when I'm going to <laughs> Or you never know my, when you come for me because you know me, I got freaking cars sitting all over the place here. So, um, anyways, guys, let's get to the what Mike generously sent me, and I owe him mega for it. Mega. And Mike, don't worry, I got ideas for you, my friend. That's one of them, just so you know. So, let's first start out. As you see here, it's the Fast and Furious V Motors Hypersport. So if you guys seen the Fast and Furious movie, this is the car that Vin Diesel and Paul Walker jumped through the three buildings in Dubai. So that's a pretty cool one. I was actually really excited for that because I don't got a lot of hypercar type stuff. So this is a really cool one. Uh, the next one we got is the 70 Charger from the sixth movie as well. This is the off-road one that they jumped out of the plane with. So that's a very, very cool one. This was this one might be used for like some off-road type build. I'm not sure yet, or it might just stay the same. Uh, so next car is we got the Fast and Furious, uh, 92 Ford Mustang. So this is from the ninth movie. So if you guys seen the ninth movie, ugh, the ninth movie, if you haven't, um, this is the car that his, uh, Dom's brother uses in the flashback montage where pretty much he was bet to, uh, stay or leave home. So he lost to Dominic Toretto in this Mustang, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, the next car we have a Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. I love this car. This was actually one of the coolest cars, one of the coolest cars from the ninth movie, in my opinion. Um, I love the detail that Mattel put into this one, like the grill's all ducked out, and then the wheels are perfect. I love how they're just overly fat on this one, and it just makes it look really, really cool. Plus, again, all the detail on this one is really sweet. That's, that's a cool car. Uh, next we got a sticker. No, I'm just kidding. It's a sticker from earlier. And then there's two more in here. These are really personal to me, I would say. So the first one we have the Mr. BC's Eclipse from the first movie, the one that Paul Walker drives. And this is just, I love this car. This is amazing. And the only thing I will say that is off about this car is they didn't get the logo on the hood. So Mattel, what the heck are you doing? You guys make a bigger version that I have of this that has the certain logo on the hood, but this one doesn't. So that was kind of, that was a bit off and kind of weird, but it's okay. 
And then next and final, we have the 68 charger that I need for a separate project that's coming very soon, guys. Um, from the ninth movie, as I was saying, this is the 68 charger that Dom Nick Toretto drove and aka Vin Diesel. And this thing is cool. It's a rear engine. I believe it was like a turbo diesel uh, concept and it's rear engine and it's supposedly really really fast in like real life so that's a really really cool car but you guys will be seeing this car again and as i state now all these cars uh mike when you said good home or good use the only car that's really going to be in use two actually is going to be this 70 charger and this 68 charger because you know me i'm a, I'm a fast fierce nut so all these cars really personal with me so uh, Mike, thank you for sending me the cars. I really, I, I love them. I'm really surprised. And don't worry, man. I got an idea to pay you back because I was going to do this last summer. But unfortunately, I ran out of time. But this summer, I am making it my goal to get you what you deserve because you have done me really well, my friend. And I appreciate everything you've done for me and, and everyone as well. But Mike, thank you again, my friend. I, I really appreciate it. Guys, if you haven't already, please go check out Mike's Mods and Customs on YouTube. Mike's Mods and Customs right here. Really good dude. He does Saturday Night Lives on Instagram that are very funny and very entertaining. I enjoy going to them every week, and I hope you guys do too. I won't lie, I've been slacking a little bit, but I plan on going to more Excuse me, in the near future. So guys, make sure to go follow Mike at Mike's Mods and Customs on Instagram and YouTube. He does a lot for the community and he's just a great guy overall. So guys, with all that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope you guys have a good weekend and I will see you guys on Monday with another car build. So I'll see you then guys. Have a good one.